Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to look at how can you pick an image from your camera roll or from your uh, photo library. For example, here you have the photos library, or you can pick it up from the picture from the camera. I'm not going to show the camera because I'm going to use the emulator, but uh, the camera is also very straightforward. It's along the same lines. So to do this, we need to use something called the UI image picker controller. And basically all what we have to do is set up that image uh, picker controller, which is a couple of lines of code and um, present it. And once we, pre we set it up, we present it. And then once we present it, it will show you either the photo library, you pick something from the photo library and it needs to send you back something. So basically because it needs to send you back something, it probably needs a delegate, right? So if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that there should be a delegate. So here it is, there is a delegate right so it's the image picker delegate and that delegate basically should have enough information to show you what is the path of the picture what's the image and so on that you picked or if it's a video that you picked and so on setting up this uh, ui uh, image uh, picker controller is straightforward and we will see how to use it in a little bit okay so let's go and open xcode mm -hmm. So I already created a uh, already created a new project, okay? And basically, I will uh, need to implement this picker. So basically, I'll say let uh, image picker uh, equals UI image picker controller. So here we are, cool. So I have the image picker controller, and then here I will just say image picker controller dot delegate equals self image picker controller dot delegate equals self okay so basically now I'm telling it that this view controller is going to be the delegate for that image picker and you will see now it's if i try to run this code it says oops you can't because you need to be of type ui image picker controller delegate and um, uh, ui navigation controller delegate so if you look here the delegate scroll down all the way to the bottom the delegate needs to implement both of these uh, both of these delegates okay so basically if we go here I need to just say extension view controller implements UI image view controller delegate and UI navigation controller delegates and we're good to go so now if I run it it's it compiles things look okay but nothing is going to happen yet okay so let's say we go back here and inside this view controller i'll add a button okay when i click on that button i'll say get image for example so here it is here's the button put it somewhere here let's say we put it somewhere here and let's add some constraints so here is one constraint and then there's a horizontal constraint here we are i'll say get image okay and then we'll add maybe an image view to hold the image that we get back okay here we are maybe we add it here we make it width equal to the same width as here let's make it one to one so what i'm going to do is one to oh no it's not to do that i want a little bit of a margin so that we can okay cool go here I'll do this this and this and then let's set the aspect ratio to be this and we're good to go so basically the aspect ratio is 38 to 40 49 I can change it to be one to one okay uh, where is the aspect ratio I'll make it one to one one to one okay here we are so basically I have an image view, let's uh, add our outlets, there it is, Oops. Uh, okay, and then this is the button we're going to click, uh, image button click, Okay, so we added the actions and so on. So basically now what we're going to do, just for simplicity, I'll just show that when you click the button, I'm going to enable 
the uh, the image picker i will present the image picker uh, controller ui image picker controller so what we could do is i need to set it up so i'll say image picker controller dot allow uh, source source type so basically the type of interface to be displayed okay so i'll do that i'll say equals dot do you want it from the camera so basically this do you want to get this sources your camera is it your photo library or is it your saved photo album so i'll just say my photo library okay and then image picker so i set the source right and then i'll just say uh, self dot present image picker and here we are do you want it animated through and then the completion handler is nil so basically this should do what this should actually present it right so basically this code should present this uh, image picker let's run it okay we did run it and you will see that when i click on get image it presented the uh, photo library i'll pick one of them let's say i'll pick this one and we're done right but i need to ac get access to that image so to get access to the image i need to implement the delegate that will give me the image so there is an image image picker controller right so this one okay there is another one if the user cancels image picker controller did cancel so you could see here there are these so print i'll say cancelled here we came back now you could see that what you're getting back is the is the picker and you get some kind of something called the media info right which is a dictionary okay that dictionary is some form of a key and then something any so basically if you want the image i can get the image that actually the user has picked i could say let image equals info this is just for protection and here it is i'll say dot which one do you want do you want the edited image or do you want the original image so i want the original image as ui image okay if if there is an image i'll i'll set it up so what i will do is i will say uh, i need an f here this is if okay this is just to, to, to make sure that if there is an image it's not nil we will be in that block and i will say self dot what image view dot image equal the image that i received okay let's run it so basically it gives you an info which is dictionary part of that dictionary is the, actually the image uh, it has the original image it has an edited image and so on so get image okay I'll pick let's pick these flowers okay i clicked on the flowers okay now something did happen if i go to cancel it's not dismissing see i need to dismiss this so that i could go back to the previous view controller so basically what i need to do is i need to say dismiss through so i need to dismiss the uh the view controller so that at least i could see what you have picked okay okay we'll go back get image Let's pick the one that has the flower okay so i pick the flower and you can see i'm seeing the flower get image moments let's pick the this one the waterfall here we are get image cancel get image cancel you could see basically it's very very straightforward now you want to enable editing easy also i could enable editing see when i'm picking the image i'm not able to edit so basically i go here i just pick and boom whatever you picked it comes back what i could do is i could say image picker enable or editing see allows editing i'll say true perfect so now i'm allowing editing run it again okay so here we are get image here it is let's pick one of these images and you see you could see that i got i could basically crop and pan if you click the options key and it allows you to now zoom in zoom out let's say try to target this yellow picture yellow uh, uh what do you call it uh, flower here it is and click on choose but i'm not still getting it 
See, I'm still getting the original image. Why? Because you could see here when I'm coming back, I'm getting the original image, right? If you don't want the original image and you want the edited, okay, the edited image. So basically it's info dot edited image. So it's not coming back. All we need to do is it's part of that, part of that key. So I'll go here and say dot edited, see, edited image. Okay. You see the key, the, the key is of this type. So that's why I just went in and then there is a, some form of an enum that allows you to do edited image. Huh? Okay, click here. Moments, let's pick this one. Option, zoom in. Okay, so there is only one yellow in the picture. Choose, and here it is, we did crop. Okay, very straightforward, very simple. Uh, this is how you use the image uh, picker controller. Now, another thing is some, some people ask, okay, how do I add uh, an image? I need my own images here. Very simple. So basically, I have some images here. All you have to do is just get some images and drag them and drop them into the emulator. Basically, what this does, it adds these images into your camera roll. It should add it to the camera roll. Okay, it's, it's maybe these are a little bit big pictures, so it's taking a little bit of time. So let's add one by one. It doesn't like if I add more than one. Here it is. Okay, so I added it. So now if I go to my photos, scroll all the way down, I have one picture. You can see here I added a picture. Now I can add another picture. Here we are. And here's another picture. Cool. So now they are accessible now through the app. If I run the app again, I added these two pictures to the emulator. Get image. Okay. Pick this guy. Here it is. And here we are. Choose. And here it is. I got the picture. Very simple, very straightforward. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.